Now you know me and you know that I'm a very big investor into ETFs, but this video is gonna be on three stocks that I've been researching and that I know are gonna be very smart investments, especially in the next five to 10 years, easily. All these picks are in companies that have solid teams, great competitive advantage, and that I believe that the risk is worth that reward. Speaking of risk, just remember that it is definitely more risky to be investing in individual companies than that of ETFs or index funds. And I definitely invest the bulk of my portfolio in those ETFs and index funds, but there's definitely no denying that individual company stocks are the ones that can make you the most amount of money in the quickest amount of time. Last year in 2023, Nvidia stock went up over 230% in one year. So if you would have invested $10,000 at the beginning of the year, you would have around $33,000 in just one year. So let's find another gem here. You all know that I do hundreds, if not thousands of hours of research before I make any new investments. And over the end of 2023 and here at the beginning of 2024, these are the three stocks that I've landed on. I'm Nolan Govea, my students call me Professor G, and I made this channel to make investing simplified. So the first stock on this list is gonna have crazy cash flow, and it's one that I've been looking at because those interest rates have made certain company stocks really, really dive. And so right now they're in a very solid value position because you want to pick stocks when they're down and they have a chance to come back up, which means that you can make that profit margin right there. The first company stock on this list is a REIT, which is a real estate investment trust. Like I said, most REITs have been down this past year because of those interest rates, because they're so high. And when interest rates are high, real estate kind of takes a little bit of a tumble because as you know, people don't really wanna be buying when that interest rate is so high, it makes their mortgage too high. Same thing happens in commercial real estate, industrial real estate, anything like that. Well, if the treasury yield curve inversion ends in 2024, highly interest sensitive companies could benefit, especially mortgage real estate investment trusts. Popular mortgage REITs like Annalee Capital Management and AGNC Investments make their living by borrowing money at low short-term lending rates and use this capital to purchase higher yield long-term assets such as mortgage-backed securities. The greater the gap between the average yield on owned assets, less average borrowing rate, the more profitable a mortgage REIT can be. The yield curve inversion has narrowed the net interest margin for mortgage REITs and made short-term borrowing costlier. But an end to this inversion coupled with dovish Fed monetary policy could make Annalee Capital Management and AGNC Investment absolutely sparkle in the eyes of income seekers. So basically that interest rate comes down, they're gonna have more profit, which means they can give more profit in the form of cash flow or dividends to you, the investor. Of the two, I really like AGNC for a couple of reasons. The first one is this monster dividend yield at 14.29%. Yeah, that's not a typo. Over the past year, it's down over 10%, so it's on a nice sale for value investors today. AGNC is a company that primarily invests in agency residential mortgage-backed securities on a leverage basis. The firm's investments consist of residual mortgage pass-through securities and collateralized mortgage obligations for which the principal and interest payments are guaranteed by a United States government-sponsored enterprise. We definitely like guarantees like that, which brings down the risk on an investment like this. The current price of AGNC is $10.08. Year-to-date, it's up 3.33%, probably on all the good news surrounding the fact that the interest rate will be dropping here in 2024, and when it does, expect AGNC and other REITs to skyrocket. There are many REITs that I really like moving forward, like Realty Income, O, and then also Crown Castle Inc, CCI, but I'm definitely keeping my eye on AGNC in 2024. Next is one that's definitely not a secret, and it's one that you for sure know about, but you may not be aware of how much this company should appreciate in the next five years. This company is different than this last one that I just went over because that last one that I just went over is on sale. It's down for the past year, and this one is very much up. But when you believe that a company can keep going up, and this is just the beginning because of a bunch of good news that's about to come out, 
that's when it gets exciting. It recently hit its 52 week high and Wall Street is still very bullish on it. This company is Amazon and like I said, it's still growing. With a market cap nearing 1.6 trillion, Amazon is among the world's most valuable companies and a market leader in e-commerce as well as cloud computing through its Amazon Web Services division. Beyond that, the company has turned to generative artificial intelligence and a growing advertising business to boost its growth. One of the biggest reasons that I'm so bullish on this company now and moving forward is because of its huge push to AI here in 2024. AWS leadership announced a new chatbot for businesses, a deeper partnership with AI chip maker leader Nvidia, and an update AI chip of its own. Amazon struck a deal to invest up to $4 billion in Anthropic, a rival to chat GPT creator OpenAI. The tech giant launched Amazon Bedrock, a service that allows users of Amazon's AWS to build generative AI applications. The current price for Amazon is $154.92. Year to date, it's up over 2% already, and it grew over 62% last year. So some would say that it's at a high price or at the top, but with all the AI news and all the crazy AI investment that this company has done recently, I think we're gonna see some really big growth, especially in the next five years because I believe that AI is just going to be totally commonplace at that time and so the companies that are putting the most investment in right now are the ones that are going to make the most amount of profit later on. And then obviously all the other things about Amazon like how it's just the absolute easiest place for anybody to make any purchases, the return policy is amazing, and their competitive advantage with their logistics is just on a totally different level. All of those plus the AI plus everything else that they're doing in this company is going to make them an industry leader for quite some time. Now this last company, number three, is pretty obvious as well, but some people get a little worried to invest in it the same way that they're worried to invest in Amazon possibly, just because it is at a high level and it's gone up so much in the last year. It's one that you've probably used multiple times today and are actually using right now to watch this video. This company is Google or Alphabet. Over 3.5 billion searches are made on Google every Day. Each search generates a tiny bit of revenue for Google as the company sells ads against these results. Google has 75% of the internet search market and 85% of the mobile search market. That's just pure competitive advantage and that's not going anywhere soon. For an individual stock, I want to have the least amount of risk as possible with the highest amount of upside possible and Google is definitely that. Now many wonder why there's two different ticker symbols that you can pick from when investing in Alphabet or Google. Google's A shares G-O-O-G-L and then Google's C shares G-O-O-G. Google split its stock in April of 2014 creating A and C shares. The split doubled Google's number of shares and cut the price in half. But the important difference is that holder of A share G-O-O-G-L get one vote per share and C shareholders get no votes. The current price for Alphabet is $142.87, and year to date, it's up 3%. Over the past year, it's way up, just like Amazon, and is up over 56%, but this isn't deterring me from wanting a piece of the action. Do you think we're gonna have more internet usage in the next five years, 10 years, 20 years? Whoever owns Search is gonna be the one that profits from this. And like I said earlier, Google not only has a lockdown on text search, it also dominates on video form of search, just like how you're watching this video on YouTube right now. Google owns YouTube and YouTube is still the most used platform for pretty much any generation, including teenagers. I thought that was gonna be TikTok or maybe Snapchat, but recently a new poll came out and YouTube is number one. And I confirmed this with my college classes this year. Almost everybody raised their hand for using YouTube at least one time per day. Just like Amazon and pretty much any other tech company that wants to be relevant, Google is upping its AI considerably and launched Gemini, which is supposedly going to crush ChatGPT. This is an AI model trained to behave in human-like ways that's likely to intensify the debate about the technology's potential promises 
and perils. Now I'm still considering which stocks that I'm gonna be adding for this year, but I know for a fact that my portfolio will always be heavy in ETFs. To see the seven ETFs that have actually beat the S&P 500 over the last 10 years, and that are gonna continue to crush it for a very long time, but especially here in 2024, watch this video now and let me know which one is your favorite.